What's up, y'all? This is Sorry back with another reaction, y'all, from the Fat Man's channel, y'all. Before we get in this uh, reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button, y'all. And share the video with everybody, see your family, friends, whoever you see, y'all. And just tell them to subscribe, you know what I mean? Shit. Um, before we, uh, how y'all day going? How Sunday? How's y'all Sunday going? It's Sunday today, the second, I think. I think it's the second. Um, so y'all tell me how y'all doing. Y'all going to, did y'all go to church today? You said, are you about to have Sunday dinner today? You know what I mean? Are you at church right now? You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Did y'all give y'all tithes, which I don't believe in, but you know, if you go to church, you go to church and you give your tithes. You give your little 10%. And y'all tell me what y'all going to do on the 4th, y'all. Y'all gonna go ahead and barbecue. You can go over somebody else's house, your aunties, your uncles, whoever you, whoever house you're going over to. Um, you can go see the fireworks. You're gonna start your own, you're gonna set your own fireworks. Y'all tell me. So, let's get into this video, y'all. Uh, the reason why I'm coming up with this video is because they just, uh, they just, uh, took out a front of action from colleges and all, most of the colleges and schools, Harvard's and all that stuff. Um, so. I think it was, I think they just did it with Friday, Tuesday, not too long ago. I think it might've been Friday. I think it might've been Friday. So y'all tell me what y'all think about affirmative action. Me personally, I don't think we really need it. Um, I, I'm not, I, me personally, I don't believe you should go to, well, let me not say you shouldn't go to college. You should probably go to like a community college with, where you don't have to pay that much. Um, Forty, fifty thousand dollars in debt. That's crazy to me. Um, I think I was a little scam unless you're gonna get something that's actually worth it, like a lawyer, doctor, uh, STEM fields, most of that stuff. I can't agree with. Um, then get the, you know, I'm not saying you shouldn't go get the experience you want to. Me personally, I didn't go to college. I don't think I really need to. Um, but what's getting in here, y'all? So the title is how does the supreme court of uh courts i think that's what you say a decision on affirmative action ruling affects the future labor market okay that don't make sense the supreme court affirmative action oh sorry action ruling affects the future labor market so let's get into it y'all let's see what they're talking about y'all uh, me personally, I don't really believe in the frame of action. I don't, I don't think you really need it. Um, you know what I mean? If, if you're that good at what you are and you get affected, you know what I mean? You know, if your grades are good, you did whatever you had to do in order to get into that college or, you know, you earned it. That's what I mean. Earned to go to Harvard or Howard or, uh, Yale or the Ivy League schools. You know what I mean? Well, what's in here, y'all? We'll see what they're talking about against affirmative action oh yeah i want to make sure y'all can hear it let me see finding it unconstitutional to consider race in university admissions we just heard from president biden a short time ago saying he strongly disagrees with the decision for more on how this will affect college admissions and the workforce those colleges send to corporate america we bring in danielle holly joe biden sir sit your so that sit your oh at down you know what i mean you, dementia looking motherfucker boy you you need to go sit down somewhere bro low key i don't know why you still in office i don't know why you're getting impeached i, I don't know why i really don't uh, but shoot i don't know uh then donald trump he out there he out there you know he getting he got court cases and all type of stuff now so i don't know then you got the santas i guess that i guess he's running for president so Whoever it is, I personally don't care anymore, to be completely honest. I, I really don't. But what's getting to y'all? I'll vote, and that's pretty much it. I see who the best candidate is. They they don't pick him, they don't pick him. What's going up here, y'all? Holly Walker of the Howard University School of Law, president-elect at Mount Holyoke, and Danny Savalios, uh, MSNBC legal analyst. Welcome, both of you. Um, Danielle, I, I wonder if there are some potential impacts of this that everybody who's reacting might not realize. Uh, in that 
education is crucial to the future of the knowledge economy and this country. But will colleges think be able to balance their classes now based on maybe economic factors or geographic factors that are measurable instead of using race and achieve a similar result? You know, I think we have some precedent for this. We have places like California and Michigan that have been trying race neutral alternatives for a long time. And what we've seen is just it does not make the same difference that being able to consider race as one of many factors does. So, for example, with Native American students, we saw them fall, you know, almost 90 percent in terms of admissions in some states. So this affects most students of color who are Black, Latino, Latina, or Native American, Native Hawaiian. And I think we'll see some significant drop-offs in those enrollments. Uh, Danny, what do you think happens to those students who are not getting into uh, the schools that they used to get into? Uh, I, I don't know if you know the statistics on this, but are they just not going to college? There are other paths, such as community college to a four-year institution that aren't followed that often, but are really very cost effective. Could we, in effect, end up uh, pursuing more practical paths to higher ed because of this? Well, let's be honest. I mean, when it comes to the student who narrowly missed getting into Harvard, that student is probably not going to go to welding school. That student might go to Dartmouth and have an, an equally wonderful life and career. And I say that because these cases really addressed a narrow issue, whether or not Harvard and UNC's admissions policies violated the Equal Protection Clause. In theory, and I stress in theory, the case Grutter, which held that diversity is a compelling interest that warranted the use of race in admissions policies, is technically still good law. The reality is, as recognized by Justice Thomas and Justice Sotomayor, that that case really is effectively overruled because Harvard and UNC's uh, admissions policies, which they themselves argued barely, barely considered race, those policies did not satisfy the strict scrutiny test of the Equal Protection Clause. Danny, what are the implications for workplaces that have also pursued uh, quota-based hiring goals of minorities in the recent years? Uh, I don't know. Let me let me get this straight. How? How how does the labor laws have to do, the labor have to do with anything from college? I mean, I I guess you know if you're going to hire, you know Yale or Harvard or something like that. But most of the time, like like you know, what I mean, if you got the qualifications or you or you earned the degree, you know, what I mean, and you're your best, you're good at it. I don't know how the. I mean, I understand that most people go off to college and stuff like that, but. I mean, if you're good at it and you ha you can show your work to to this person, I don't see why they wouldn't pick you or not like that. But you know what I mean? That's just me. You know what I mean? But I, I don't know. I've never really. I don't. I've never been to college, so I really don't know. And I don't know how they would. I don't know how. I've never been. I've never been a CEO. I've never been a, a hiring a hiring person. So I don't know how they how they really pick something like that. Uh, but you know what I mean. I don't see why not go to community college, and then go to the, like the then go to like a a whole a whole um full university for two years to get your to get your degree or whatever, because because all you're gonna do the the first two years is you're gonna do your generals. So why not just go to community college and then do your generals at community college to get your you know what I mean get all that stuff because you're gonna have to do it anyways then switch out to for the two years and go to a major university like the U of M or where I stay at, the U of M or St. Thomas or whatever college, uh, MTTC or whatever for it's called. I don't see no, well, I think, I think MTCC is a, a community college, but I don't see, you know what I mean? That, me personally, that's what would go in my mind. It'd be more cost effective. It'd be cheaper, much cheaper than going for them four years and get, be in debt for forty, fifty thousand dollars when you get out of college. That you got paid back in six or to a year. You know what I mean? To to the bank or to the school. Um. So I I, I don't I don't know how that would affect the labor. To be completely honest, or the admissions, I I don't see, and most and most black people try to go to a, a school that has more black people into it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
just like how most white people try to go to a college that has more white people because you would be more around your group and which we, we all we all get right we all when we get older we all go race uh um race loyal you know what i mean even dating and stuff like that uh which i had no problem with uh and i don't think really he even said right now that they they really did they made it was like a little bit of the um affirmative action that really played into the admissions so I don't know what to say on this, but let's, let's, let's get back into it, y'all. Well, that's a really interesting point because constitutionally, we've carved out, at least historically, this one place, higher education, not even K through 12 education, but higher education is the only place where the Supreme Court has said, starting in Bakke and then in Grutter, that diversity is a compelling interest. And by the way, it's not racial diversity. It was general diversity. But diversity on college campus is a compelling interest that warrants sometimes the use of race conscious decision making. That case didn't, I mean, the Supreme Court didn't hold that for any other part of the workplace or K through 12 education. So in a sense, this case is narrowly, uh, narrowly tailored itself, but it also has implications for the people who graduate university and head on into the workforce. Daniel, I, I wonder if people realize how much the college admissions process has changed in a generation over 20 years. It used to be people applied to three or four schools and then, you know, picked one. Now a lot of young people are applying to 20 schools, and the challenge for these schools is to yield, to figure out, are these young people really serious? Who can we actually get? The school that really cares about curating a diverse class, can't they still, through visits, through uh, Zoom conversations, figure out who these students really are across all kinds of dimensions and make their pitch to be the school that they choose? Can't they still recruit a diverse class? Yeah. You know, I think college admissions, as you just acknowledged, is a very complicated realm and is a holistic process. There are lots of factors that colleges and universities look at. And we know that colleges and universities will still be able to value diversity. And I think Danny made an important point that it's diversity of all kinds. I think what the Supreme Court did today was really tie the college and universities hands behind their back and say, yes, you may want to construct a diverse class, but there are some things that you can't do and can't consider. Chief Justice Roberts did say you can look at an individual's essays and they can talk about the way that race has impacted their lives, but it must be in a way that does that on an individual basis. And I think that really uh, discards the way that colleges and universities really do business. What Grutter did is it allowed colleges and universities to have some deference. And you didn't see any of that deference today by the Supreme Court. They essentially are saying, even well-considered plans like Harvard and UNC that considered race as a small factor in the overall admission standard can't be used. But we will see college and universities get creative, I think, in terms of recruitment, uh, really offering uh, the ability for students to come visit, all kinds of tools that we have at our disposal to help students of all backgrounds understand the benefits of our individual institutions. All right, that's in the video. Um, my final thoughts on this. I mean, I guess they can. I mean, they can diverse it. I, I, I personally don't care. You know, what I mean, if you want to have more people, if you want to have more black people or more Asians or Mexicans or what the hell, you you know, whatever race, whatever color of race, you know, what I mean, I have no problem with it. But you know, what I mean, I mean, personally, I don't think. I, me personally, I don't think college is a good fit for everybody, and I don't think going to college and just being in debt is stupid. It's stupid to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why you want to go to college to get an art degree or uh, uh, whatever they got. Animal just well, let me not say that. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Well, you can go to any. You can go. You got. You can get several cases for most of stuff. You should go to college for like art. You could get art. I think they got like an art cert certification or whatever. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's what I think. And that's my final thoughts on that, y'all. Um, I have no problem with it. You know what I mean? I have no problem with them, you know, 
checking out a friend of action. The college can, you know, I think it, I think it's the best because then you don't have to. You're not you're not just getting anybody into the college. You know what I mean? If they earned it, they earned it. You know they earned it. You know what I mean? If they earned it. They got a four point oh or a three point eight, whatever they got. They, you know, what I mean, they did community. They did community. They did community is good. Their, their grades are good. They're a good student. They're a good, uh, hardworking person. All stuff like that, which I think that factors into it. Um, and you earned it. You know what I mean? Then you don't have to say, oh, the only reason why the only reason why they took me is because they got a friendly action. You know what I mean? Which it takes it takes to. It, it takes the 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 um the progress out of your I guess a mind or whatever your the hard work. You know what I mean? But hey that's the end of the video. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, y'all. Uh do you do you agree they took it? Do you do you believe that they should have took it out? Uh should have uh put it uh kept it in. Um you know what I mean? Do you think college is good for everybody? Do you think college is worth it? You know what I mean? I mean, the only reason why I say college, the only reason I think college is worth it is the, the STEM fields, lawyer, doctor, stuff like that. But, yeah, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, y'all. Please hit that like button and subscribe button, y'all. Please share this video with everybody you see. We'll sign us out for the Fat Man's channel, y'all. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all. Oh. I'm going live. I will be going live at eight o'clock or eight six o'clock, one of those uh, tonight. So uh, be watch for that, y'all. Uh, I think I'm gonna talk about a little bit more. No, I'm gonna talk about the BET Awards, how ghetto it was, uh, and really why I don't watch it anymore. So y'all watch out for that, y'all. I will see you guys on next one. Peace out.